before being born again, you have that orphan heart. And you don't believe that you're loved or lovable. You feel abandoned and alone. You don't feel part of a family. And so when you become born again, when you, you know, make that decision, our brain takes time to catch up <laughs> with that reality, with that new reality. You know, it's, it's not, I, I wish it were as simple as as soon as you did it, you know, it's like snap your fingers and everything's renewed and you get it and you're in and, you know, and you are instantly in and you are now in that family and you are born again, but it takes time for your soul to, to come into that reality of what just happened. And that's part of that, again, going back to that alignment of spirit, soul, and body, your soul being your mind, will, and emotions has this record attached to it of everything that's ever happened in your life and your family, right? Going back generations, our DNA, it's your family DNA. You have that record attached to your soul. And so through the process of aligning with the spirit, you are choosing I'm going to believe the record that the record of my spirit, the record that I've never been separated from God, that I now have his DNA, that I've been engrafted into this family. And that is my reality. And so you have that constant tension and dissonance between what your soul is telling you and what your spirit is telling you. And for those who choose spirit, those are the people that really come into a reality, like a daily living of, I am a child of God. I am his favorite daughter and he loves me and he chose me and he has called me to this business. And this is the thing that we're doing together. Mm. You, you use the word trust earlier i don't remember the exact context but one of the things that i've always wondered about myself and others the reason we slip back into the not being at rest not receiving is because and this is, sounds harsh but i think you'll take it for what it's worth we really mm -hmm. don't trust god we we really yeah. don't yeah. have a full level of trust. And so because we don't trust him, we'll revert to the, if it is to be, it's up to me, the self, the mindset that I've got to make it happen. I've got to make sure there's money in the bank account. I've got to make sure that all my family's taken care of. And I mean, we could keep going down this path, mm -hmm. but I, I do think that that trust is foundational with what you're talking about and i don't know how people can gain that mm. yeah, I don't know. Me, how do people gain that take that and run with it. Yeah. yeah yeah that's one of the things again that we we do initially is um, because someone told me this a few years ago and it just rocked my world 